Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this flow series we will see how we can use Salesforce flow in list views. To better understand of these use cases, let's take a scenario. So here is the scenario. When you want to close multiple cases in a single click by selecting the records that you want to close from the list view and clicking the button, it changes the cases closed. So let's first understand how the scenario will work. So this is Salesforce homepage. I am navigating to the case object. Here you can see here is the list view of case object. Here I am selecting all open cases. Here you can see here are some cases which status is new or working. Now for example you want to change the status of first four cases as closed. For that what you need to do is you need to select these four cases Using the flow, we will create a button and as you click on that close button, these four cases will automatically get closed. Now let's navigate to the flow builder. For that click on setup. Then in the quick find box, search for flows. Under the process automation, you will see flows, click on it. Then we need to create new flow for that here you can see new flow button, click on it. Now after the updation, here we will see two options, start from scratch and then use a template. Here I am going to create flow, start from scratch and then click on next button. Now here we need to select the flow type. So here I am going to select auto launch flow and then click on create button. Now first we need to fetch the case records from the case object. For that we need to add get record element so we can fetch the records from the case. So here I am clicking on add element and then search for get records click on it now in the label i am entering cases the api name will automatically populate then in the get record of this object we need to select case object for that click on the search object search for case as you scroll down here you can see we have standard object of case then we need to filter case records now in the first condition we need to select id here i am entering id then operator in and then in the value we need to create resource so that we can store the case ids here i am creating new resource in the resource type select variable give the api name here i am entering ids then in the data type select text and here as we want to close multiple cases for that click on allow multiple values and then in the availability outside the flow we need to select available for input and then click on done button now here you can see in the value field id has added now we need to add another condition which is the record you are going to select it does not equal to close that means when you select the only open cases those cases should be get closed for that here I am selecting status which is case status or you can search status does not equal to closed. In the how many records to store we need to select all records. Then simply close this because this automatically gets saved. Now in the get record we get all the cases which status is open. Now we need to add decision element, here I am adding decision, now enter the label, here I am entering check for null, the API name will automatically populate. Now why we need to add this decision element, because here we are checking is there any records in get records element or not, for that here I am entering not null. The outcome API name will automatically populate and then in the resource we will select the get record element that we added here you can see cases from the cases and then in the operator is null and the value will be false now here I am closing this now if we get some cases in the get record element which the status is open the decision element will check it and if the get record is not null then here we will add the loop element here I am searching for loop click on it because this loop element iterate over all the cases which are open here I am entering 
case loop the api name will automatically populate and then in the collection variable we need to select get records which is collection of open cases i already created the video on how to use loop element the video link i have given in description box you can go through it so you will get idea how we can use loop element in salesforce flow now simply close this now in the loop element i am going to add assignment element so this assignment element will change the status from the open cases to the closed here i am entering the label change status api name will automatically populate and then in the set variable values we need to select current element that means from the loop element case loop dot status is equal to closed and then simply close this then we need to add another assignment element which will store all the changed cases for that here i am adding another assignment element in the label i am entering changed cases the api name will automatically populate then in the variable we need to create record variable which will be store all the changed cases for that here we need to select new resource then the resource type will be variable here i am entering changed cases collector the data type will be record then click on allow multiple values because we are going to store multiple records then in the object we need to select case and then simply click on done then in the operator we need to select add and then in the value we need to store the current element which is from loop here i am selecting this loop element and then simply remove this dot because we are going to store all the fields from the current element then close this and now we need to update the cases which status we are going to change for that outside the for loop that means after last here we need to add the update record here we need to add the update record element in the label i am entering update case records the api name will automatically populate and then in the record or record collection we need to select the assignment element where we store all the changed cases here we created the record collection which is changed cases collector select it and then simply close this now our flow is ready now first i will explain the flow first we added the get records where we stored all the open cases then in the decision element we checked if the get record element is null then the default outcome will fire that means the flow will get directly end and if the get record elements has some records then we enter to the loop where the loop iterate over all records and then using the assignment element we change the status and those records we stored in the variable and after that we update the records now we need to save this flow for that here i am clicking on save button here i am entering change cases status flow API name will automatically populate and then simply click on save now i am going to activate this flow for that click on activate button our flow has successfully activated now navigate to the flows where we can see all the created flows here i am refreshing this here you can see change case status flow that we created we need to open this flows details for that click on this drop down and click on view details and versions now as you open this here you can see url you need to copy this url here i am copying this url control c now let's navigate to the case object where we will create list view button and we need to add that button on the list view of case object so click on this setup in the object manager search for case object open it 
now here you can see button links and actions click on it i have created detailed video on button links and actions the video link i will give in the description box you can go through it now here we need to create new button or links click on it now here i am entering clothes cases the name will automatically populate because it's an api name now in the display type we need to select list button now in the behavior i am selecting display an existing window without sidebar or header and now here we need to paste the url that we copied then check the syntax no syntax error now simply save this now we successfully created the list view button but we didn't added that list view button on the list view for that as you scroll down here you can see list view button layout click on it then click on drop down click on edit here you can see custom buttons from the available buttons we need to select the button that we created and then add to the selected buttons here we created close cases click on it and then click on add button now click on save now navigate to the case object here you can see the case object and then refresh the page now here you can see the close cases button has been successfully added now i want to close the first four cases for that select the cases that you want to close or you can select any random cases here i am selecting first four cases and then click on close cases button here you will see some status your flow finished now as you again navigate to the case object now here you can see the cases that we selected is not appear over here because we are on the all open cases list view as we navigate to the close cases here you can see the first four cases that we selected the status is closed in this way we can use the salesforce flow in the list views if you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates thank you